So, in closing, let me, let me, let me reinforce that thought with a, a story. That's what we're supposed to do, right? Close with the story? No. Uh, it's, I love I loved the story. I was teaching a, I was teaching a group of ex-KGB Russians a uh, software package called Windows NT. And believe it or not, they actually had authorization from the American government to come and learn this class. And it was about security, of all things. So there's about eight of these Russians in the room, and a couple of them looked like KGB, honest to God. And I, I didn't, they, I, I never was in love with them in the room. It was a good thing. But <laughs> everything I said was translated into Russian. Every question they asked was translated back into English. So we can imagine this was a pretty interesting class to teach. My CorelDRAW 4 book, using CorelDRAW 4 book, has been translated into Russian. Where else am I ever going to get an audience that would actually appreciate my Russian translation of my book? So I brought in my using CorelDRAW 4 book. So I'm up in the front of the class, and I said, do any of you recognize this book? And one guy who was in the back of the class, who, big guy, but he'd been quiet the whole day, he goes, I have this book. <laughs> and I went, I wrote this book. <laughs> and this is not as the guy a true story. He goes, boom, jumps up out of his chair. And he's a big guy. He goes, you wrote this book. <laughs> I go, yeah. And I got a chance to experience that demonstrative Russian thing we've always heard about. This guy comes running. He's about like where this young lady here is. Comes running up to the front, gives me, shakes my hand, gives me a big hug. He says, I love this book. It saved me days off trying to figure out how to run this package. I love you. And he gives me a big <laughs> hug, right? He then rips this thing off his a big emblem off of his lapel, foom. And he goes, here. Thank you for writing such a good book. I'm like, you're welcome. Right? Right? It's like, whoa. I then took the book and I inscribed inside to my Russian friends from your friends in Chicago. Just so you, may you think warmly of Chicago and the United States when you look at this book and know that, you know, something on the order of amity and friendship exists between us. I, I still have that emblem on my mantle. I do. It's sitting up on my mantle, right? I would like to think that someplace there's somebody in Russia who has my book up on the shelf. And every now and then, that person looks at that book and they sort of have that feeling of amity and warmth that I had from that gentleman. You can't buy that. 